Hey friends, today I am at the boathouse at Disney Springs and we're gonna be doing the captain's sing-along brunch. I am so excited. You already know I love the boathouse, but mix in breakfast, lunch, and mimosas and it takes it to a next level. So, let's go do this. Today is the first official day of the Captain's sing-along brunch. I am so excited. This is going to be on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And the piano players will actually be here from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And this is one of my favorite experiences, just coming here and enjoying the piano players. But now that it's brunch, I am 10 times more excited. Something that is super important to inform you guys, though, is if you show up, wearing a captain's hat or some boathouse shirts, then you actually receive a free mimosa. That's amazing. And then that way, you're the captain. We're gonna go get settled in. I'm gonna be joining up with some friends, actually, because brunch with friends is the best. Luckily, today, we're gonna actually be getting the best seat in the house because we are gonna be having brunch in a boat. <laughs> Now that we're officially at our table and in our boat, we're gonna be able to take our mask off, relax, and enjoy. This is not like your traditional brunch itself because, like I said, it's gonna be a captain sing-along, so the piano players are gonna be up there and we're gonna all be just having a good time and singing along and sipping on some mimosas and eating some good food. This is gonna be probably one of my new favorite brunch spots, mainly because of the sing-along. I have never sat in the boat before, but it's like a boat booth. It's a boat booth on brunch, and we already got our bread. A boat booth brunch bread. <laughs> Everything starts with a B, like Promise said. With your bros. Yeah, with your bros. I'll be a bro. Oh, that is good. <laughs> Here is a look at the menu. As you can see, we have some very fancy boat drinks, a paramosa, an orange crush. That sounds interesting because it has orange juice and soda in it. Strawberry splash, espresso martini, and then all of the different brunch items. There are way too many things to choose from. I mean, fried chicken, biscuit, and gravy is probably my go-to, but luckily today, we're gonna try them all. I'm gonna try my orange crush now. I'm very excited because I like orange drinks. So this kind of just fits perfectly for breakfast. That's good. I like it a lot. This is something really good. You crushed it. They do offer a bread service and it looks like it's kind of like a cinnamon roll bread. I'm excited. I'm gonna try to, oh yeah, like pull it out like that. <laughs> it's definitely like a pull apart bread. It's a sweet, yeah? I'm thinking like a cinnamon or like an icing. I don't know. This is seriously so delicious. And they give you the butter, but yet you don't need the butter because the icing is what does it. It's not like a cinnamon, it's just a. Uh, like an icing bread, like an iced bread, yeah. or a glazed donut like bread, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's good without the butter. Yeah, it's just good. Looks like the players are starting to set up and we're about to start singing along. Piano Rob from Jelly Rolls and a lot of other Orlando like attractions is actually here tonight. He's one of my favorite piano players, so I'm excited to sing along. We already have some of the entrees come out for us. We have the avocado toast right here, which is multi-grain toast with avocado, tomato, pickled red onions, feta cheese, and then two eggs, any style. And then, of course, this is what I've been eyeing up, the fried chicken, biscuit, and gravy. Oh, wow. I mean, I can just tell I am going to love that sausage gravy. But you can't go brunch without 100% breakfast, and that's why we've got the Belgian waffle. And you get a choice of bacon or smoked sausage and they have syrup here. Look at Travis's cutting skills here. <laughs> this is fancy. I think we're gonna try the waffle first. We're gonna need some syrup on there. Oh yeah, that's the way. <laughs> the waffles are just, it's a good waffle. I really like this actually. And I haven't gotten to the bacon, but the bacon looks like solid bacon, like very like crispy. And I like bacon that's not flimsy. How do you like your bacon? I know a lot of people like it burnt and like some like it limp, but I'm a little snap. I like to snap into a bacon. Oh no, and they're playing some of my favorite songs. It's hard to get sad over waffles, but this song can do it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Always. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in to the chicken and biscuits and I read on the menu that the gravy is like a Creole gravy so it has like a kind of like a Cajun style to it but I licked my fork already and I love it. It is so amazing. I can't wait to get a bit of the chicken, the biscuit and the gravy all in one bite. It's so sad to take a bite with the song playing right now. You'll be in my heart. I can honestly say right now, before we even try every single item, this is it. This is this is my favorite. I mean, I know that we still have steak and eggs coming out. There's actually a lot of amazing things gonna be coming out, but the gravy, the chicken, and the biscuits are literally near perfection for me. I absolutely adore this dish. I would order this probably twice. <laughs> Look at this bacon. This is what I was talking about. This is how I like it. This is how I like the bacon. Promise dove into the actual avocado toast. What do you think? Just like Nate was saying, he wants the chicken and biscuits every morning. I want this every morning. That's it? The combination of the arugula and the avocado and the runny egg. That's your favorite, huh? Yeah. It looks good. It is so good. But like you said, we haven't even got the steak yet. So yeah. who knows? Who's to tell? We're going to take a second from eating, even though we have a lot more food to actually try. And I want to show you how you request songs from the dueling piano players up there. And it's a real easy process, actually. All you got to do is grab a request form fill out the artist and the song, any special requests like birthdays or anniversaries, and then you take it and you lay it up on the piano, and they have plexiglass in front so that you can kind of like still uh, adhere by that social distancing. But also, please make sure you take care of your piano players. They work hard up there, and they're pretty amazing. I went with the classic Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks. Hopefully they'll play it. It's one of my favorite friend songs, especially when you're with a bunch of friends. <laughs> We're playing baseball. I got friends in low places where the whiskey grounds and the beers chasing my blues away. And I'll be okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not big on social graces. Think I slip on down to the oasis. So oh, I got friends. <laughs> Woo! Oh boy. Oh my, oh my goodness. I had to get the Bloody Mary. I Look like at it. this, guys. <laughs> and now I went with a mimosa. Oh, oh, fancy. fancy. I like it. Cheers. Come sail away. Come sail away. Come sail away with me. I am honestly not a big mimosa drinker, but this pear mosa is absolutely amazing. And Promise actually said it's like not very acidic. So that's what makes it different. And that's usually the thing I don't like about it. Oh. Shirt. Piano man, sing us a song tonight. All in the mood for a melody. Everybody's feeling alright. 
Oh boy, some more food coming in right in the middle. Oh, Ooh, I love asparagus. looks amazing. So the other entrees came out. We still have a couple more entrees to go to, but this is the lakeside breakfast. Two eggs any style with bacon and sausage, home fries, and ciabatta bread. And then on this side, we have the shrimp and grits. That spicy cheddar beer cheese grits, shrimp, sausage, and two eggs. And then this one, I believe, is the jumbo lump crab cake benedict. I think I'm just gonna kind of pick apart things a little bit. So we'll grab a little potatoes, a little bit of the shrimp and grits right on there, and then a little bit of crab cake. But I wanna wait for that to actually break in. I have to try the potatoes. I'm a big potato guy for breakfast. So I have high expectations, Eric. They are literally so good and like potato chips almost. Good vibrations. That's how I feel about sausage on biscuits with a little gravy. We're gonna cut them grits. Here we go. Good job, Nate. Grits are very, very cheesy. I think they said beer cheese inside of it, yeah. but the, the shrimp inside and the sausage were phenomenal. I really think that's a good dish, and it's definitely like not plain Jane shrimp and grits. It's got a lot happening there. Oh, they're playing one of my favorite songs. I love it. We'll be waiting for. So I've officially tried all of the mimosas, and I have to say, I think the pear one is my favorite. This strawberry breeze one is pretty good. Mine's a little bit lighter than the other one that we had. That one's darker. This is the pear, right? Yeah, that one's the pear. And this is the strawberry. Yep, and this is the same one. It's just this one's a little bit lighter. Good. So good! So good! I have to try the crab cake benedict. I don't like the poached eggs as much, but I mean, just to try the crab itself. And I love asparagus, so I might as well just go in for it here. That's good. Normally a benedict would have like an English muffin at the bottom with some Canadian bacon. And they're actually just using the crab cake itself as like that bottom English muffin. That's really fancy. So, so out of all of the meals or entrees that we had, we still have two more to go. We have the steak and we also have the salmon bagel. I don't think any of them are gonna top the fried chicken biscuits for me. I mean, the gravy literally was perfection to me. And I could probably eat that gravy on each one of these items. So if you do actually end up getting one of these entrees, maybe ask for a side of gravy. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Here is the salmon bagel. Now that is a lot of cream cheese on the bottom there. I feel like I know I know a lot of people like to have a lot there, but then the steak and eggs. Look at this bad boy. I love how the song kind of creeps in with the eggs. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> and you got the steak right there and the potatoes. This is gonna look amazing. I'm gonna just grab some steaky here. Oh look at that. That is, oh, that is cooked perfectly. Oh, it does look cooked perfectly. I thought on the outside it looked a little bit, but wow, that is good. I've been very excited for the steak. So here it goes. That is super amazing. Look at that. I absolutely love the steak and I love the potatoes. Oh, this is good.
it's definitely not every day you get to actually dine in a boat. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And a trip to the boathouse is not complete without the duck duck raz. This drink is about Cheers to the duck. Quack 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 quack. quack, quack, quack. Yeah, I feel like we're doing like the Mighty Ducks thing there. <laughs> With that duck duck raz, I think I am done here for this evening. That was so amazing. I absolutely loved it. My favorite things had to be the pear mimosa and then also the chicken biscuits. I mean, you can't get better than that gravy. The gravy was literally the best gravy I've ever had. So please let me know what you think of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. If you guys end up coming, uh, make sure you take care of your piano players because they work so hard. Piano Rob and Lauren absolutely were fantastic and I enjoyed all the music and everyone was singing along. It was just a great experience. So we'll see you next time. Bye!